April 6th, 1912. Four days since the earthquake, and we're still stranded here. There have been a few aftershocks, but it's an amazing place. I found some plants yesterday that Professor Summerlee says are extinct. Well, the bugs are pretty weird, though. Some of the ones crawling around on the ground are even bigger. So we live in the trees now. Mom and I have our own tree house. Roxton and Challenger built it in just three days. Mom says Lord Roxton's a perfect gentleman, and Challenger's a perfect brute. We're lucky they're with us, though. If anybody can help find my dad, they sure can. Those two aren't scared of anything. There's so many strange things here. I'll be famous if we ever get home. Huh? couldn't make a good cup of tea if your lives depended on it. <laughs> At least we know coffee when we taste it. <clears throat> Tastes like medicine. <laughs> quite so, quite so. Wonderful stuff. All sorts of medicinal properties. Yeah. <clears throat> Billy, what about that breakfast? And the research we planned to do this morning? No time. Gotta see a monkey about a hat. Just don't go too far. He better not. We don't know a thing about this jungle yet. <laughs> what the... Think you're funny, do you? Well, we'll just see who gets the last laugh. <gasps> the sky inside a bird you mean they crashed in an airplane that must have been my father so he might still be alive ah! hmm. look what you've done challenger it's broken i can hardly run to the corner shop to buy another well, I'm not going to sit around all day watching you make yourself dandy. All right. We'll start with the eastern side today. 
Maybe we'll have better luck finding our way off this cursed plateau there. Isn't Billy back yet? He's been gone too long. I don't like it. Hmm. I'll start ahead. Don't worry, Molly. Challenger's snout is finer than a bloodhound's. He'll find Billy in no time. You coming, Uncle? Hmm? What? Oh, oh yes. By George, this place is absolutely incredible. Look here, I'm quite certain this is actually a living example of the ancestor of the Yucca. By Joe! Another aftershock. Oh, Billy! We've got to find him. Now! Oh. Mina, are you okay? The gods must be very angry. My amulet will protect us. My amulet! It's gone! There's no time to look for it. We gotta get out of here. We need some stuff to make a fire. My dad gave me this matchbox, so we can light it. A magic fire stick. What's that? Something moved. Over there. Be careful, Mina. They're never gonna believe this back home. Which way now? animals were galloping. Looks like a stampede. What do you make of these, Professor? Elephants? Oh, elephants. No, 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 my dear. Quite impossible. Uh, there's no record of pachyderms in South America. Hmm. Professor, take a look at this. By Joe, with some sort of native amulet, uh, which would lead us to conclude that perhaps... Uh... We're not alone here. Quite so. Better keep it. We'll study it back at the camp. Molly. Billy's hat. He must have dropped it when he ran for cover. Sounds like silverback apes. Over there! Chaps are badly outnumbered. What do you think, Challenger? Do you suppose we should lend them a hand? Challenger, wait! Are you all right? Johnny, wait till the Royal Geographic Society hails about this. What is it, Roxton? It can't be. What's the matter, Roxton? I thought you were dead. Disappointed? Bit of a rough landing, actually. But looks like I made it, huh? Long before you. Onka, in Kicha. Stop it, you stupid beast! Ow! Ah! You know him? A former associate. It was a long time ago. 
Yes, actually, he and his assistant Culver left London two years ago. Some foolhardy notion about a flying machine. But I'll wager he hasn't found any gold yet, or he'd have been long gone. I don't like the look of this. Nor do I. What's going on, Maple White? Maple White? You were in Brazil a few years ago. You tried to convince Jack Turner to fly you into the jungle. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, have we met Miss... Uh... Mrs. Molly Turner. Jack Turner was my husband. Where is he? What did you do to him? Look, lady, I don't know anything about him. I offered him a chance to come with us, and he bailed. Guess he was too yellow to see it through. You! <laughs> Mala! Unka Himamina! What do you want? Konnichiwa! <laughs> <laughs> Look, old chum, these natives are awfully superstitious. They think you caused the earthquake. <laughs> but don't worry. The old witch doctor trusts me like a son. I'll straighten everything up when we reach their village. You're gonna love it. But what about Billy? Finiti, ma! Ooh, that's a fine way to thank us for our trouble. Ungrateful beggars. Billy! Billy! <laughs> okay, okay. I'm happy to see you too. The way out, it is blocked. Whoa! Oh, Billy! Where are you? Uh, I'm okay, Mina. Doing a lot better than these guys, anyway. You found another tunnel. Come! <laughs> Professor, doesn't this look like a... By Jove, this is unbelievable. A true Inca village. A living example of a lost civilization. Remarkable. Prepare to meet the Empress. And try to watch your manners, Roxton. The Empress doesn't take too kindly to smart-mouthed Englishmen. <laughs> Sapa Inca Koya. These are the Supai who disturb Pachamama. They have caused the earth to tremble. They must be removed from this land, or Tutak Yak Pacha will come and we will all be destroyed. Look, this is ridiculous. We didn't... Silence! Only your leader may speak. Ah? Uh? You're right, Summerlee. They are remarkably <laughs> civilized. <clears throat> we have come in peace. The trembling earth has trapped us here. We wish nothing more than to return to our own land. But we can't find the way. She lies. I have proof they are evil wizards. Is it not true that the Princess Mina has disappeared? My daughter. What have you done with her? We know nothing about your daughter. Ooh. Then how do you explain... This... <laughs> Tie them. I will sit with the Council of Elders to decide your fate. I dare say the situation is getting a little grim, what? Blimey. I should have cracked their noggins instead of the monkeys. Maple White, why don't you tell them the truth? We had nothing to do with the disappearance of the girl. You know, I really wish I could, old chap, but the evidence kind of looks like it's stacked against you now, doesn't it? You dirty gold digger! You haven't changed a bit! Still the lying dog you've always been! Kind of hard to point a finger when you're the one who double-crossed me back in the Congo, right, partner? I warned you that I'd had nothing to do with poaching! I just couldn't stand by and watch you take those skins! Well, 
Let's see if you can save your own precious hide this time. Nina, look! A plant! That's gotta mean daylight! He found a way out! We made it! What are we? Paradise. Look! That's our village! In the cliffs across the lake! We're on an island! You've never been here before? Don't you have canoes or something? We can't cross the lake because of the water monsters. Water monsters? Billy, how will we get back? They'll never find us here. I've got an idea. And one last magic fire stick. I assure you that the princess is gone. Why else would they have her amulet? And when the people see that I have captured the evil ones... With my help. And there is no one else to stand between me and my sister's throne... Then you'll have even more power. Do not worry, my friend. You will have more gold than you have ever dreamed of. Chanamakumbaka! It is decided. You are banished to the Valley of Death. As in, bye-bye. <laughs> it's not over yet, Maple White. <laughs> Famous last words. Look, boss. What's that? <coughs> I hope someone sees this. It's Billy. His father taught him that distress signal. That's my son. You must let me go to him. You idiot. <coughs> She lies. The smoke is a sign that the fire god is angry now, too. Enough. You know nothing of our gods. Please, you must listen to me. My son is missing, too. The smoke is a sign he's in danger. We found your daughter's amulet near my son's hat. They may be together. Mina. No! They die now! The Wirakocha has commanded it. Let us save the children first. Then you can do with us as you please. I give you my word as a mother that we will return. Sister, beware their evil tricks. The gods have spoken. It is not the gods who have spoken, but you, brother. And I have heard enough. Now we shall seek the truth. Nothing. But I'm sure that's where the smoke signals are coming from. Billy! Come on, boy. Give us a show. Now where did I put that thing? Mom! Mom, over here! Oh, it's no use. They can't see us. Aha, uh -huh. there it is. I knew I had it. Yes, good, splendid, very good. Uh, Your Majesty, if you would kindly take a look. The children? You found them. Mina! like poor Lord Roxton's dead meat now. I hope those monsters don't mind royal blood. What the? Give me that! Challenger, wait! There's got to be another way! Only the gods can save them now. Roxton, you made it! Jolly glad to see you're safe and sound, Billy. And I take it you are the Princess Mina. Enchanted. You are a very brave and noble warrior. Roxton, you half-wit aristocrat! Challenger! This lake is crawling with sea monsters. Each at least three times the size of our girl Nessie, I'd wager. Oh, really? Sporting? Oh, blimey! Oh, 
brave. Your father would have been so proud of you. Ah, fish! Just like me old mum used to make. Maple White, you have proved yourself unworthy of our trust. You have betrayed your own kind. It is decided. You won't be allowed to stay in the village. But we won't make it out there alone. It's full of monsters and ape men. They grab you by the throat and... Will you be quiet, you moron? And Urkon, you are the shaman. Yet because of your words, Princess Mina might have passed to the other world before her time. <laughs> this is not the way of our people. For three moons, you will not speak to the Ayarans. You will remain in your cave alone and speak only to your conscience. Tonight, you and your tribe are honored guests in our village. Thank you, Empress. I'll be back, Roxton. You're not gonna make it out of here before me. You hear me, Roxton? It's not over. No, it isn't over. It's only just begun.